Hey, hi, hello everyone, it's Durs, and today I'm going to show you how to make an automatic piglin trading farm. It's incredibly easy to build, and once you finish making it, all you have to do is keep putting in gold, and then after that, the piglins will just take the gold and give you all the loot that you need. If this video helps you out at all, please consider subscribing. It's totally free, and it would help me out a ton. Okay, enjoy the video. For this build, you'll need building blocks, hoppers, a dropper, a wooden pressure plate, glass blocks, some slabs, one wood button, some redstone torches, carpet, chests, and a bunch of gold. To start this build, take out your chest and make a double chest like this, and then one block away, make another double chest. So it should be looking like this, they should be one block apart. Now go behind the chest and actually take out your hoppers and connect them to each side. So you're going to shift and place them, throw something into the hopper just to make sure it's connected. If it's connected properly, then it should show up into the large chest. Next, you'll want to surround the hoppers with building blocks. So build three blocks up and surround it on each side. In the end, after you build it, it should be looking like this. Next, take out two carpet and place them on top of the hoppers because this is where the piglins are going to be standing. If you throw some stuff at the hopper even with the carpet, the item should still fall into the hopper and go to the chest. Next, take glass blocks and place them like this so you actually build the enclosure. Like as I said before, this is where the piglins are going to be, so you want to actually trap them here with the glass blocks. After that, head to the top of the build, take out one building block, place it right here, and on top of this, place your dropper. Now you want to connect one more hopper to the dropper, maybe on the back or on the top, whichever way is fine. And on top of this hopper, you can place your double chest or a single chest, whatever you prefer. And in this chest is where you're going to keep all your gold. Hopefully you have a gold farm because you're going to need plenty of gold. If not, then you better start mining. Once you finish placing all your gold into that chest, come right before the dropper and place your wooden pressure plate right here. And then right below that on this block here, you'll take your button and place it right here. Now come to the back of the build, break this temporary block here, and right here we'll place our redstone torch. And we are now ready to bring in the piglins, but right before that we need to block this pressure plate because we don't want them to step on it. So just place a glass block right on top of it, so then they won't be able to hit it at all. Now to bring in the piglins, you'll want to make a little staircase up to the top on both sides so it'll be easier for you to bring them in. And honestly, it's a little bit difficult to do on survival, so you'll maybe want to get minecarts with rails or maybe some boats and take them up. But luckily for me, I'm just going to spawn them in because I'm in creative, you know. Now you can bring in as many piglin as you want into these enclosures, but I would recommend 2-3 to three, as that's the ideal amount of loot for each gold that drops. Also, if you don't want your piglins to despawn because getting them in here is a huge hassle, I'm sure. I wouldn't actually know because I'm in creative. But uh, if you want them to stay and not despawn, you'll want to put some armor on them or give them name tags. Next up, we'll want to put a solid block on top of their heads over here, but we can't do that because their heads are kind of protruding up above. So we want to place some blocks like this, place a piston and a redstone torch, and once you do that, the piston will move this glass block over their head so now they're kind of like stuck in there. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side as well. The build is now almost complete, we just need to place one more glass block and that is right here kind of looking at the button and placing it so that when the gold shoots out it doesn't fall out, instead it will hit the glass and let the piglins pick them up. And once you press that button, the build is officially complete. The gold is spewing out and the piglins are picking them up and once they trade the item, the item will go down into the hopper and then finally it will go into the double chest. And if you check the double chest, you will see that all the loot is right there. 
You can build this farm super quickly, the only thing is when you're building it in the nether you have to make sure to be wearing gold armor or else the piglins will be starting to attack you. Also, some things may happen with the build where sometimes the loop gets disturbed and the gold doesn't spew out and if that happens just press the button again and then it should start working. The original designer of this build is Farzi and his channel will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Okay, bye!